Obsidian has become a favorite for people who take notes seriously or will want to keep their ideas organized. It's loved for features like Markdown, which makes writing very flexible, and the graph view, which visually connects your thoughts just like a second brain. But Obsidian isn't the only app you can use. There are many other options out there that work in different ways and might fit your needs better. In this video, we'll walk you through some great Obsidian alternatives that can help you stay organized and be productive. Let's start our list with some knowledge-based tools, and one of the finest among them is LogSec. It's a privacy-first tool that stores your notes right on your computer, so you don't have to worry about them being in the cloud. LogSec is also a local-first outliner that supports both Markdown and Org Mode formats. It takes inspiration from Rome research in how it structures information and encourages linking between notes, but it emphasizes simplicity, privacy, and ease of use. LogSec is designed as an outliner, meaning it organizes everything in bullet points, which is very handy for tasks, journaling, or brainstorming. It also supports Markdown, so you can easily format your text, whether that's bolding words, adding headers, or inserting links. The way LogSec handles linking is what you're going to love. You can connect your notes, or even parts of notes, so it's easy to see how your ideas relate. Unlike tools like Rome that rely on cloud storage, LogSec keeps everything in a folder of Markdown files. The graph view helps you visualize connections between notes, and while it's not as fancy as Obsidian's, it gets the job done and even lets you filter connections. It's a simple, effective tool for anyone who wants a private, streamlined way to manage their thoughts and tasks. The next on our list is Capacities. Capacities is an object-based note-taking application designed to create meaningful relationships between notes. Known for its effectiveness in journaling, note-taking, and managing personal ideas, the app incorporates markdown notes, local first optionality, and a wide range of personal knowledge management features. Capacities supports a variety of use cases from daily journaling to organizing professional meetings. While often compared to Notion and Obsidian, Capacity stands between the two and offers a unique style that doesn't fully replicate either. At its core, Capacities introduces an innovative object-based system where information is organized around objects rather than traditional note formats. The interface is minimalist and clean, with an aesthetic reminiscent of Notion, so it might appeal to those who appreciate well-designed tools. Features like daily notes, graph views, and interlinked relationships between entries set it apart by offering clarity in how notes connect. While it lacks some functionalities, such as Obsidian's Canvas feature for open planning, Capacities has become a rising star in the PKM community, which caters to users seeking a balance between visual design and functional depth. If you're exploring an Obsidian alternative, Joplin is definitely worth a look. It's an open source app that lets you manage your notes and tasks while keeping your data secure with end-to-end -end encryption. It supports Markdown for formatting, which makes your notes both functional and neat. If you're into coding, you'll love that it supports over 150 programming languages. What really makes Joplin shine is its collection of plugins. There's the Admonition Markdown extension, which helps you add these cool, clear blocks to your notes for better readability. The Agenda plugin is another great one if you like to see your tasks on a calendar. It makes deadlines and appointments so much easier to manage. And the automatic backlinks to note feature? It's perfect for linking your ideas and making connections between notes, just like your brain does naturally. Another bonus is Joplin's web clipping tool that lets you save web content straight into your notes. And with tags, you can organize everything just the way you want. All these features make Joplin a smart, flexible way to handle all your information. Now let's shift our focus to some genuine note-taking apps. Bear is a note-taking app made just for Apple users, and it's all about keeping things simple and beautiful. No matter if you're jotting down a quick thought or writing something more detailed, Bear gives you a distraction-free space to get it done. It's clean, 
easy to use, and works perfectly across your Mac, iPhone, and iPad. Instead of dealing with folders and notebooks, Bear uses tags to help you organize. You just add a hashtag to your note, and it's instantly sorted. Plus, with nested tags, you can group similar tags together and keep everything tidy. In case you need to link one note to another, Bear makes that easy too with a feature called Wikilinks. Just type this, find the note you want to connect, and you're set. Bear also comes with tools that make your notes even better. Things like tables, a sketching tool, and a powerful search that can even find words inside images. There are widgets for quick access and new features like Quick Open to help you get to what you need right away. If you're looking for a note app that feels effortless but still has everything you need, Bear is worth checking out. Next up, RemNote isn't just a usual note-taking app. It's built to actually help you learn better, not just store information. Think of it like a system that works the way your brain does, connecting ideas naturally so everything feels like part of a bigger picture. When you add notes in RemNote, you're not just writing things down. You're creating a web of ideas that all link together. Over time, this makes it easier to see how everything fits and makes studying feel more connected. One of the best parts is that you can turn your notes into flashcards right away. This makes reviewing what you've learned super simple. Plus, RemNote uses spaced repetition to time your reviews perfectly. You'll go back to what you've learned just before you forget it, which helps it stick in your memory for good. And there's more. RemNote's knowledge graph lets you see all your notes linked together almost like a map of your thoughts. You can jump between connected ideas easily and really explore what you're learning. It's all about helping you understand, not just remember. Over the past few years, Evernote has changed quite a bit, and a lot of people moved on to Obsidian because of that. But if you tried Obsidian and felt it wasn't quite right, you might want to take another look at Evernote. It's now owned by a company called Bending Spoons, which has been putting a lot of effort into improving it. That being said, Evernote is now more focused on its paid plan, so if you're looking for something free, it might not be your best choice. On the bright side, Evernote has added some really useful features. There's a task manager that makes planning your day easier, and a planner that links your notes to meetings and syncs with calendars like Google and Outlook. They've also improved collaboration. You can now edit notes in real time with others. And with new AI tools like better search and image scanning, staying organized is simpler than ever. That said, if you're coming from Obsidian, you might miss a few things, like a visual graph of your notes or the deep linking Obsidian is known for. Evernote doesn't focus on local storage, but it does have a good offline mode. If the main reason you switched to Obsidian was to save money, Evernote might not be the solution you're looking for now. If you're thinking about using Notion instead of Obsidian, the two tools have pretty different strengths. Notion is free and lets you create unlimited notes, which is a big plus. That said, it doesn't have the same advanced features for organizing your thoughts that you get with Obsidian. Instead, Notion focuses on making things easy with ready-to-use templates, so you don't have to figure out every detail on your own. Notion is also simpler to pick up. Obsidian can feel overwhelming at first because it uses markdown formatting and a system of linked notes that takes some time to get used to. Notion is more flexible and feels more like working with regular documents, which makes it great for teams. You can link notes using the mention feature, and it even shows you backlinks to keep everything organized. While Notion doesn't have a canvas view, which some people love for brainstorming, it keeps adding new features. There's also built-in AI, but you'll need a paid plan to use it. One thing to watch out for is that Notion's offline mode isn't as reliable as it could be. But if you want something free, easy to use, and good for collaboration, Notion could be just what you're looking for. So these are the best alternatives to Obsidian that you can use. Pick the right one, start using it, and be productive. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.